Purpose. You ever ask yourself, why am I here? Where did I come from? Where am I going? Or even, what can I do? What abilities do I have? But most importantly, we're always asking, what is my purpose here on earth? Why was I born? God, what do you have me here to do? Why was I even created? We're going to talk about that today. Um, what is your purpose? Why are you here oh, on earth? Oh, God. Oh, why am I here on earth? Yeah, what is your purpose here on earth? I'm creating the image. We are created in the image and likeness of God. That's that's who we are, with the image and likeness of God. Tell you tell yourself, I am the image and likeness of God. Why am I here? Why are we here on earth? To do what? Do the will of God. What do you feel is our purpose as children of God here on earth? following God's will. Um, he understands that we're not perfect and we're going to fall, but as long as you repent and don't do it anymore, and do His will. That is our purpose, is to have dominion. Most importantly, we need to have dominion over ourselves before we can have dominion over the earth. One of the biggest problems in the world is that in the, in the church is that there are people, men and women of God, that don't have dominion over themselves. Why do you think that we're here, like, as, like, people, like, why did, why did, like, God created us to be here, like, on this earth? You know, what do you think our purpose is? Well, I think our purpose is... Yeah. To have dominion. To have dominion. Okay, what do you think dominion is? Authority. Authority. Like when somebody, if somebody says like, you know, like you hear a preacher say, and God said for us to have dominion, like, what do you think the average person would think that means? I mean, you think they would tie that to our purpose? Not really, if you're not really like thinking about it or know what it means. Yeah. Dominion means to have rulership, all right? Specifically, being able to govern yourself or to govern other things. Like some people have dominion through music ministry. Right. So Jesus went around preaching about the kingdom of God. If you ever read the scriptures, that's all it talks about him speaking about is the kingdom of God. All right, that's a part of our purpose. We have the kingdom of God within us, so we're supposed to influence our friends in school, our families, Everybody with the kingdom of God. It says he predestined us, meaning he had this destiny for us before we were even born or created, all right? He predestined us for adoption as sons, all right? He created us and made us to be sons even before we were even created. Through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of what? Right. According to the purpose of his will. Alright? So that is our purpose. Our purpose here is to do God's will. And God's will is for us to be in his image and in his likeness. And to have dominion, right? Because God is the king. And we're his sons, so therefore we are kings as well. But all that, all that takes place when you live a life for Christ. You can't be a child of God acting and doing the devil's work. All right? There's a lot of Christians that do that. But we have to understand that we're sons. We are sons and daughters. All right? So as sons and daughters, we have to learn about our Father. We have to do our Father's will. And guess what the Father's will is? His word. You can have dominion as well to be able to dominate the kingdom of darkness in your life, you know, to be able to help people, 
um, to be able to show people the power of God. Um, and that's one of the things that we do in the Remnant Ministries. You know, we show people, the, we show young people and people in general the power of God, you know, which you'll see um, in, the, in this episode of Truth Be Told. Um, you'll see some of the young people getting healed um, at our youth service. And, um, you know, we'll have more videos of, uh, of people getting healed and showing the power of God. People getting words of knowledge, being, being prophesied to. And, you know, just the power of God being manifested and being shown to the world. And, um, you know, that's how, we, uh, that's how we minister the kingdom of God, you know. And that's how we exemplify the kingdom of God here on earth. That's what God's called us to do, you know what I mean? How many of y'all out there have been healed in the Remnant Ministries? One, two, three, four. Manifestations of healing. That's one, two, three, four. How many else? How many? Five, six. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, uh, verses 7, uh, before he sent the 12 out to the loss, he said, as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Then he says in verse 8, to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Then he says, freely ye have received, freely give. And this is what our purpose is all about. Our purpose is to proclaim that heaven is here through us. Because the Bible says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit being within us is the kingdom of heaven here on earth through us. So we're here to represent Christ by doing the same works that he did. And I believe that reading about Christ is the best way to find your purpose. Because I believe that the works that he did exemplify what we're supposed to be doing and what our purpose is all about. The things that he did as far as preaching and teaching about the kingdom of God is what we're purposed to do. He told his disciples to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And see, that's our first priority is to seek the kingdom of God, to seek his kingdom and his righteousness, things that are right in God's eyes. So the most important thing that you should learn from this video is that our purpose is not in just being a churchgoer or just being someone who follows Christ but doesn't have a relationship and doesn't know Christ. Um, our purpose is not just going out and doing things um, with the motive to be seen or to be a big time preacher on TV, um, to do things that are selfish. You know, our purpose is not the purpose of the enemy which is to steal, kill, and to destroy, or the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, or the pride of life. That's not our purpose at all, but our purpose is to do the will of the Father.